All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, Barakatham. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect Akim out here during this fight, <clears throat> pushing this word with faith, hope, and sincerity. So, um, basically, I've been thinking, meditating on. Uh, what kind of example um, are you setting not only for yourself, um, but what kind of example are you setting on behalf of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai? And so there's a few examples in the scriptures, and um, either you can fall on one side or another of those examples. And um, as I bring out these scriptures, you know, I really want you to, to think about, are you really uh, exemplifying? Are you really being a model? Are you really being a pattern of what these scriptures um, are teaching us and what our elders and our apostles are teaching us? Uh, of course, we know that, that we are striving, you know, uh, for the truth and we are pressing towards that mark. However, when when brothers see you, what kind of example are you setting? Are you setting an example of a, a diligent, uh, righteous man that is uh, giving his all, you know, for this ministry and for salvation? Or are you lukewarm? Or what will be your legacy? How will people remember the the service in which you have produced? Toward salvation. So I'm going to start here, John, the 13th chapter, and I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, so after he had washed their feet, this is talking about Yahweh Shai uh, and him washing the disciples feet. It says, so after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me master and Lord, and ye say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. And so the more you understand what this example is, the more you understand that Yahweh Shai is the example in which we should be modeling. And so we're going to get into this word here. Uh, example. Strong's G 5262. Hupadagma. Hupadagma. It says a sign suggestive of anything, delineation of a thing, representation, figure, a copy. Two says an example for imitation. So because Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book and all things are written of him and for the elect, what we are imitating is not only the good, but the bad, the, the glory that is soon to come, but the suffering and the persecution that also came with his life and as he had to live his life, going through that straight gate, going through that, that way of difficulty. Yahushua is that example. So I ask you, what example are you imitating of Yahushua? We all are imitating. We are all reflections. We are all examples of Yahushua. However, how are you modeling yourself after Yahushua? It says uh, of a thing to be imitated and part B really doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to bring out a couple of these scriptures that they have down here at the bottom. This is Hebrews two and one. It says, therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, least at any time we should let them slip. OK, because when you let those things slip, matter of fact, let me see what this is. Okay, and that's not the right one. Okay, this is Hebrews 8 and 5. It says, <clears throat> Who serve unto the example 
and a shadow of heavenly things as Moses was admonished of Yahweh when he was about to make the tabernacle for see saith he that thou make it that thou make all things according to the pattern shown to thee in the mount and so at this time Moses was doing what he was imitating the pattern of the things in which was showed unto him for who for the people to learn and for the people to imitate so likewise with these holy scriptures that is what we're imitating. That is what we are using as an example. OK. Um, Hebrews 9 and 23, it says it was therefore necessary that the pattern of things in the heavens should be purified with these. But the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. And so this is going into the word pattern. Right. Let's get that real quick. Hebrews 9 and 23. Let's start at verse 22. It says, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood and without shedding of blood is there no remission. It was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these. But the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these, because when you go into the uh, the old uh, Levitical law, the old Levitical law had to have sacrifices of the flesh. But when Yahweh Shai came, the example, OK, he was a sacrifice of greater uh, uh, things than what those fleshly lambs and goats and sheep could provide. OK, but that was the example of what Yahweh Shai was. OK, and how likewise um, our people, uh -oh, our people have to recognize the example in which we are. We're, we're out on the highways and byways uh, sacrificing our lives, as scripture says, our bodies as a living sacrifice, okay? And that living sacrifice is for the hopeful elect because that's exactly who Yahweh Shai came for, all right? And then ultimately uh, the rest of Israel. So let's get this word here, uh, example again. The second part, uh, so the first part said a sign suggestive of anything, delineation of a thing, representation, figure, copy. OK, now the second part says B for imitation. OK, so one is a direct copy. The other is a imitation, which we're doing out on the highways and byways, uh, prophesying, uh, condemning, rebuking. OK, exhorting with all long suffering. It says uh, John 13 and 15, and then it has 2 Maccabees uh, 6 and 28. And I'm going to grab that here in the Apocrypha. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 6. And I'm going to start at verse 26. It says, <clears throat> For though for the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, Yet should I not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive nor dead. Wherefore now, manfully, changing this life, I will show myself such and one as mine age required, and leave a notable example to such as be young to die willingly and courageously for the honorable and holy laws and when he had said these words, immediately he went into the torment. Now, of course, this is talking about um, the, the old man that actually gave his life um, for the truth, for the ministry. OK, and and his sacrifice was an example to what? To the men that came after him. So I ask you again, what kind of example are you leaving? Are you going to leave a notable example? Are you going to leave an example in which other men can imitate? Because that's what these scriptures are doing. It's not, it, it, it's solely based around Yahweh Shai, but there are also uh, multitudes of examples of great men that did great things. And of course, this man here in, in 2 Maccabees being one of them. Okay. 
let's bring this out. This is James uh, 5 and 10. It says, take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction and of patience. So once again, you're not just going to get a reward of the kingdom by just knowing that you're an Israelite, just knowing that, you know, the names of the heavenly father and the heavenly uh, father son. There's going to be suffering. There's going to be affliction. And there's definitely going to be patience. These are the examples in which the men of the Lord are imitating. They're imitating the, the, the suffering of Yahweh Shai. Imitating the affliction of Yahweh Shai. And imitating the patience. As scripture says, this is the, the faith and the patience of the saints. All of these are examples on how our people should live in accordance with these holy scriptures. Okay. Um, here's another one. This is uh Sirach 44 and 16. It says, it says, um, Enoch pleased the Lord and was translated being an example of, of repentance to all generations. So just as the the, uh, the, the man in Second Maccabees, the uh, sixth chapter was an example, okay, of, of, of dying willfully, okay, and lawfully, all right? Likewise, here in uh, Sirach, the 44th chapter, in the 16th verse, we have Enoch doing the same thing. Okay, but this time it was for what? For repentance. See, these, these are the, the notable examples of characteristics, attributes, okay, in which you align either one way or another with these same characteristics of these scriptures. Because if not, you're going to be tested in them. You're going to be tested in your, your suffering going to be tested in your affliction, your patience, your repentance, your brotherly love, your endurance. The example of the scriptures. Imitate them. It says uh, Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Least any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So now we're looking at the bad side of the example. Because you can be an example for good or you can be an example for bad. See, two thirds are examples of unbelief. OK, they're not imitating Yahweh Shai. They're imitating or they're coming up with their own logic, their own will, their own laws. To be disobedient towards the example, the cast, the mold, the copy. See, that's that, that's how you that's how you become disorderly. You know, cats drawing all out, you know, coloring all outside the, you know, <laughs> at the coloring book line. Like it's a reason why there's there's an outline, and you're supposed to color within the line, because that's the example. OK, when you're going all outside the framework and doing your own thing. That's when you receive your reward. OK, and, and that reward isn't going to be the reward in which the example of Yahweh Shai received, which is salvation. OK. Um, last verse here. This is Second Peter two and six. It says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. So, first of all, you got the example of the unbelief with Hebrews 4 and 11. 
And then you have the sample of what? Those that what? Lived ungodly. Both of those are the hor uh, horrible scenarios of the examples of unbelief and ungodly. And both of those examples resulted in death. So I ask you again, as I wrap up, what example are you presenting to the body? What example are you presenting to Yahweh Shai? What example are you presenting to yourself? Because the example has already been laid out. Imitate it. And with that, I like to say Shalom.